Hey guys, it's the one and only, and this is another basic tutorial. This time it's on how to back up your PC without a more advanced program such as Windows uh, Live One Care or Norton 360. Those programs have a built-in backup feature that reminds you or even does it automatically depending on how you have it set and what kind of thing you're backing up to. Uh, to back up your hard drive every week or every so often or whatever, every month at least. Uh, if you don't have one of those more expensive programs, then you need to back up your hard drive the old-fashioned way, I guess you could say, by using the backup uh, and restore center, control center or whatever. Uh, and Windows XP could be found on by left-clicking on your hard disk in my computer and going to properties. In Vista, there's actually a whole separate uh, Council, I guess you could say, for that. I um, haven't tried accessing it by right clicking my hard disk yet, but you might be able to do that too. So, what you want to do is you want to go down to start. You can type in backup down here at the start search area. I'm just going to type B because it gets me to the. It, it, it comes up with just typing B. So, there it is, backup and restore center. Now, this will come up. And it's going to ask you if you want to back up your files. And I would recommend backing up your files at least every week. Uh, really depends on how much files you create in a week. If you create a whole bunch, then it's a good idea to back them up. If you don't, then maybe every two or three weeks, or maybe even every month, depending on how fast you create files. It also depends on what kind of risk your computer is in. If it's a desktop, uh, it's only at risk for what you do online, which isn't that much if you have the correct security and you've secured your computer correctly. If you have a laptop and you carry it around more often, uh, you're in danger of dropping it on the ground and having your hard disk break. Or say, you know, if you're on like a uh, college campus, someone could technically, you know, get you a virus or something. Who knows? Anything can happen. Uh, it's always good to have your files backed up to a safe place. Now this is asking you, where do you want to save your backup? You don't want to save it to your uh, D drive. This is just a partition on your hard drive, as I said in the uh, uh, creating recovery disks tutorial. It's just a partition on your hard drive, so you don't really want to do that. Now, I don't have an external hard drive, but if I did, I'd plug it in via USB or even FireWire now, and I would probably it would probably just show up like this. If it didn't, you could press re refresh, and it should show up. But I don't have one connected, so I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, by DVD-RW disks, or using, I'm going to actually use DVD-RW disks, because what I do is I create two sets of uh, disks, and one set I use one time, and the next set I use another time. So if something happens, like I got a virus and I didn't know about it, and it I backed up and it was on the backup disks, the virus was on the backup disks, at least I have another set you know, set of disks that's another week or two old that maybe don't have that virus on there. So I keep two sets of re uh, backup disks. Now, I have a 250 gigabyte hard drive. I don't have nearly all of it filled, and I'm using right now five DVRW disks. Now, mine are just DVRW disks. You can get dual layer disks if you have a dual layer drive. I would recommend that over you know, running like CDs. You definitely want to use DVDs for sure. But DVD RWs or DVD Rs are perfectly fine. I use RWs because I can rewrite them uh, every other week or whatever. And if I had dual layers, they're a tad more expensive, I'd use those because I'd be using less disks and it's less of a hassle. But I don't. So I just use DVD RWs. Now what you do uh, is you're just going to select that There we go. Get you to move. I'm gonna click next. There you, go. you don't want to. You don't. If you've already created a recovery disk, then you don't really need to back up your HP recovery. You you always could, but you don't really need to. I'm just gonna back up my local disk, and I'm gonna click uh, click next here. Now it lets you uh, select your files. I'm going to back up my pictures, my music, 
I don't really have any emails, so I'm going to back up my documents for sure, which would include my contacts and all that. And additional files will include that as well. I'm going to uncheck TV shows and videos since I'm backing up to DVD discs. Because uh, if I did put those in, I don't, I mean, it would probably it'd boost the amount of discs that I have to use to probably like 10 or 15 DVD discs. And that's ridiculous. So if, now if I had like an external hard drive, I'd probably leave these checked. Just because it's always nice to have your videos still, but just because I have quite a bit of videos and I don't want to back them all up and wait forever on my discs, you know, to be written and have like 15 discs, I'm going to leave those unchecked. Click next. Um, this is I can. This is how you can set up like uh, if, to remind you. I have it saying weekly Sunday. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. 7 p.m. You want to do it at a time that you're not going to be so much using your computer because depending on how good your computer is, it could slow down the system. And one, what you're going to do is you're just going to stick in your disk or connect your external hard drive and then you're going to click Save Settings and start backup and it's going to start your backup. I'm not going to do that right now because it doesn't really benefit you guys to see me back up all my files. So, yep. So that's this tutorial, and I hope it helps you guys out. It's not, I mean, it's not like rocket science, but, you know, it's just a good heads up that you should be backing up your files and how to do it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.